Yeah, I'm not gonna bring it up. I'm with you. What made you bring up this topic anyway? No, I didn't bring it up. I mean, I mean, it wasn't like I just brought it up like, intentionally. It's just that. Um, I don't know how it came. We just, you know, everything happened organically over here. You know what I'm saying? We just been talking about shit, and uh, it wasn't a topic that we was having. Like, I'm sure, like that, it just happened organically. You, you have to be here from the beginning. If they played out, okay. you know, shit, when they put it up, it, if they got the first beginning of it. But yeah, All right. Because it, it wasn't about, uh, you know, actually, what I was saying is nobody should be putting their hands on nobody. But of course, they want. Make it like they only gonna take the part where I'm saying like, uh, uh, you know, if a bitch put her hands on a nigga, then a nigga should treat her like a nigga. Like they only gonna take that those type of parts. They're not really hearing what the fuck I'm saying. Like you shouldn't. I don't think toxic uh, relationships are healthy. I don't think fucking with anybody that's abusive is good, whether you verbally abusive or, or physically abusive. I don't think, Emotionally abusive is the word. I don't think that's right on any terms. You know what I'm saying? I'm not an advocate for that. I'm an advocate against that type of shit. That's why I don't fuck with people. You know what I'm saying? So I agree. I, I agree. But do you think that some need to take this required? Like for instance, um, I'm friends with a former football player. He used to play for the Packers. His name is Latroy Union, right? And when we were out, his girl that he lived with, they got two kids. They got two kids. Everything. She like five two, maybe a hundred and twenty pounds. He like six three. 300 and some pounds. He was kind of being disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Um, looking at other women, touching them. So she go up to him and kind of like, um, she slept. Why she end up in the hospital though? Jaw broke, eyes down the popping out of her head. Like, can, do you think some people can take it to the bar? Some men can take it to the bar? Oh, um, all right, so look. Like, he literally Mike Tyson. Like you said, well, Mike Tyson, bitch. Hold on. He, Hold on. Uh, well, let, me, let me answer that question for you, uh, I, I do think people can take it too far. Uh, however, the bitch took it too far when she put her hands on. But damn, she in the hospital. Yeah. Like listen to what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying, Queen. That's what I mean, though. Like, to, hold on, but listen to what I'm saying, Queen. I get it. Now, do I think she should have got paid equally? But you can't, when, she, when somebody, this is why it's wrong to do it in the first place. Because... If you put your hands on me, or you put your hands on somebody, you can't tell them how to respond back to putting their hands on you. That's why you do it in the front. If that's somebody you sleep with, like, yeah. he's like, oh, I'm sorry, baby. I didn't, why are you so sorry if he feel like it was right? Like, it was because, just because, because the nigga don't got no self-discipline, he's very emotional, so that moment triggered something. You never know, he could have been picked on when he was younger. You never know, that's why you shouldn't be in no relationship like that first place the bitch went already took it too far when she put her hands on him did he take it further yes he took it way too further like he shouldn't have did all that shit to her you know what i'm saying don't get me wrong you know like you shouldn't beat a nigga beat a bitch down if the bitch just came up and slapped you like i don't i don't believe in that like me i, I don't even think punch a bitch honestly i think well, what i would do in my past if a bitch would slap me well a bitch don't slap me but if a Man, y'all need to go look up a girl. If a bitch would have you, what I probably would have did. Go look her face up in her body. I was tossing. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Don't worry about the comments. It's me and you right now, Queen. So what I probably would have did, I would have choked that bitch against that fucking wall, and then my toxic ass probably would have been having sex, but we probably would have had sex right after that shit. That's what type of nigga that I was back in the day. We had fight and get back with each other. I was toxic in a motherfucker. It was that type of relationship. I don't know. I mean, but it wasn't like. My but I would probably take it too far too and shoot his ass. Then it'd be that's, like I'm. That's, but that's what I'm saying. So look, perfect analogy, right? So a man took it too far because he put his hands on a woman, but all he did was push her back. He pushed her back in the car. He was mad. He pushed her back in the car. Mm -hmm. but in her mind, she's like, "Yeah, I'm about to pour some grits on that nigga when he sleep." That's too far. But, yeah. hold on, hold on. But, you can't talk about how she fucking responded because the nigga should never hit her in the first place. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I think that's too far. I don't know. I think everybody just needs to stop. Just that's stop what I'm people. talking about. Thank you. Let's get to the root of the problem. Stop being toxic. You never know. That's the whole, that's the whole point food. I was making. Hey, Armani, send me some other lotion, baby, because I'm over here. I'm dying from powder. 
don't know. That's just, that's crazy, though. Yeah, because you got bitches. Like, all right, I'm, I'm going to give you an imaginary situation. I get mad one day. I slap the fuck out of Diamond, right? Y'all know Diamond on this app. Cap, cap, right? I slap the fuck out of shit out of Diamond. She come back. She starts she, she shoot me up. She went too far. But, yeah, that's too far. But hold on. But hold on. I didn't know. I didn't. I should have never slapped down in the first place. That's why she shot me up like that. All right. But that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Just because don't put your hands on a nigga because you don't know how you're going to respond. I don't know. I mean, I'm I scenario, y'all. I was in a relationship before with a, a guy who used to do like martial arts and all that stuff. He had a lot of self-discipline. And I, I, I hit him and he would just hold my arm and he would look me dead in the eyes and he said, that I ever did that shit again, and I ain't never did that again. I'm talking about them eyes and that voice. I was like, oh, I'm good. I, you, okay, daddy, I ain't gonna do that shit no more. He even had to whoop my ass. He just, it was something about that grip and him looking me dead in my eyes. Don't you ever do that shit again, ever. And I said, and I, and we was together like seven years after, but I ain't never did it again. Right, right. But he have to like put me yeah. in a hospital to like. Yeah, you know everybody different. Everybody different. He handled you correctly. He handled you like the way he was supposed to. Handle you. He handled you correctly. You know what I'm saying? That that little he wasn't phased by that little ass penny ass slap. And all he did was hold you down. You know we gonna give him an A plus. But what I'm saying is everybody ain't gonna always react like that. Just don't. That's yeah, just don't put your hands on a nigga. Just like no nigga should put their hands on any woman. Right. Well, y'all keep y'all hands to yourself, ladies. Never but, um, oh, let me ask you this now. Let me, let me ask you this. What would have happened if you would have slapped the fuck back out of here? Not beat you up, not punch you, not kick you down the steps. But what if he would have just slapped you back? You know, I think that's fair. Okay. But it'd be the motherfuckers, it'd be the motherfuckers who'd be thinking like, oh my gosh. Oh, wow, what? No, bitch, you just not oh, slap me too. But well, if he like clothesline my ass, doing them wrestling moves, break my arms, you know what I'm saying? Knock a couple of things out. Then, I mean, come on now, dude. Oh, like, no. Nah, but not you go. Thank you for not coming up here and being just biased with no understanding. The only thing I don't like about some conversations is some people don't try to hear it. Like, they don't try to understand it. They just want to express their opinion. They don't try to get an understanding. But everybody that's been coming up here, they get They get it. Whether they agree or disagree, they still get the fuck I'm saying. I get what they're saying, and it makes it a good conversation. Thank you. Thank you once again. Yeah, all right. Uh, it's no joke. Just I said something that was very important. Um, I've been with females when I was pimping. I was with certain females. This happened like three times. I was with certain females who thought I didn't love them if I didn't beat their ass. I'm like, nah, this bitch is crazy. I'm scared about bitches like that, but it's really some bitches like that. Like if you don't, like so many women, not so many, but three. You know, when I was in those type of relationships, they're like, why you don't be boom, boom, boom? Like, like they'll do something. And even in relationships, you got some women who will actually do something to provoke something. They will pro- do something, provoke something, just so they, cause they so used to, to that dysfunctional. They, they grew up like that. Something in their childhood was traumatizing to where it's their pain body now. So like they're into that type of shit. That's not healthy. Believe it or not, there's people like that. So... You know, uh, but I don't fuck with people like that. I can't, I can't fuck with people like where I'm at today. Fuck no. Stay real. What's good with you? I know stay real gonna give me a mouth, uh, a mouthful, but I. Stay. Go ahead, stay real. Are you, are you ain't there no more? Stay real. Ain't there no more. So, all right, so I'm a little late. I, I jumped in the box when I heard it, but when people was like, oh, males are, uh, you know, stronger or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, females can't do that much damage. I'm going to tell y'all something. So I was raised, me and my brother, not to put hands on um, females, you know, regardless of what happened. So my brother, him and his baby mama, they was arguing about, you know, cheating, toxic relationships in the kitchen. Okay. he She started hitting him. 
he grabbed her, hold her, like y'all say do, right? He let her go when he thinks she calm. She grabbed knife, turn around, stab him. He blocking with his hand. And instead of punching the shit out of her, because that's what I would have did when Gang. he was back some shit, he ran off, right? Police came. He could have died in the backyard because she stabbed the main army. He can't use his hand the same, his arm the same. And instead of telling the police, oh, yeah, she did it because he got kids her, he lied and gave him a fake description. See what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to draft snitch on because that shit was way, you know, a year. I know, but you just not like fucking valuable point that people want all the bias. anybody's dangerous all the biased women won't understand what you just now said and chocolate guess you what? say they have to guess call them right take it if the shoot like, on the other foot the yeah they would want to and, and all i'm saying is everybody's dangerous a woman i mean you know what i'm saying it, it doesn't matter everybody dangerous and that's some real shit that really happened i kind made me fucking mad that shit made me mad like this shit happened yesterday that shit no nah, it fucked uh, no, it wasn't yesterday. It was about a year or two ago. Oh, but, oh, yeah. And you know, like like I said, he protected her even from us. At first, it took him a while to tell us. Because automatically, me and my sisters, we would have got on there with him. You feel me? But that's his baby mama. You know what I'm saying? And he protected her. She could have been locked up. It could have been a tip murder. It could have been anything. You feel me? But instead, he gave a fake description. Instead, right now, to this day, they got two kids now, and they still together. Me, Percy, I wouldn't do it. But now he can't use his arm. He can't use his hand. You know what I mean? Because of that shit. So, what I, all I'm saying, yeah, that's toxic. They, they are a toxic couple. But what I was trying to make, you know, people understand, they say males are stronger. But everybody, everybody can, anybody can hurt anybody. 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 Because the thing is, if a bitch can put their hands on you, what makes you, they, they can't hold themselves back from putting their hands on you. What? Right. Think that can't hold yourself back from stabbing your motherfucking ass. But even then, yeah, you have to look at it like this. From a, like I tell people, you gotta look at it. In women, y'all gotta look at it like this. Y'all look at us as stronger, right? So if we hold you, we think you calm, or we still arguing. Automatically, we're stronger than you, right? So you gonna think I gotta get a weapon to stop this? See what I'm saying? So you gotta look That's at it like that. Reason. That's another reason. You think a nigga strong, stronger, so you might go to a whole different shit. You might, yeah. So now you think I gotta defend myself by grabbing a weapon that somebody dead or somebody hurt. Right. You know, so that's the point I was trying to make, but I was a little late because everybody else was jumping up. But I was just trying to get to, you know, get through to them. That's a, that's a good perspective. And that's why we don't get to the root of it. The root of it, this is the root. Like you said, I agree with you. Nobody should take hands on nobody. Bingo. That's the rule. Nobody should be uh, abusive with anybody. Nobody should be abusive with anybody. That's how we saw it. And that's why I said, that's why I said it don't matter how you raise either, because I was raised that way. When that shit happened, that changed my mind. Like, if a female, you know, putting their hands on me, I'm going to smack the shit out of them. Hell yeah, because if that shit happened to my brother, if I'm with a female, we toxic or whatever, I'm not saying I'm toxic, but you know what I mean? Like, if it did become that, and I'm arguing, we in the kitchen or we somewhere where she can hit me with something in the head, anything. No, I'm not getting that chance. Because all it takes is seconds to take a life. Well, I appreciate that. That was a, I appreciate that story for real. Appreciate that. Perfect.